All right, uh, as a matter, a preliminary matter, uh, my name is Bob Marshall, Chairman of the Lakeville Cable Advisory mm -hmm. Committee. And permit me to confirm that all members, staff, and persons mm -hmm. anticipated on the agenda are present and can hear me. Um, get rid of that. Okay. Uh, members, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Tom Sirignano? Tom, you muted. I'm here. <laughs> okay. Walter Healy? Here. Fred Beal? Here. All right. Um, anticipated. Hold on. Can, hey, okay. um, Jose, I got a thing here saying this meeting is being recorded. Yes. Right. What do I do to get rid of that? Um, no, you, tap no, you don't on want it. to. Walter. Just tap on it. It should go away. Just click, I got it, or whatever. Oh, yeah. Got it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. An anticipated speakers on the agenda. Please respond in the affirmative. Uh, Bill August, our attorney. Affirmative. <laughs> Jose Invencio from Lakeham. Present. Great. Oh, they see, didn't say affirmative. I, I don't know if that's <laughs> just Josh. <laughs> okay. In accordance with the governor's order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, general law chapter 30A subsection 20 relating to the 2020 novel uh, coronavirus outbreak emergency, the November 4th, 2021 public meeting of the Cable Advisory Committee shall be physically closed to the public to avoid group congregation. However, to, to view this meeting in progress, Please go to facebook.com slash LACAM. You do not need a Facebook account to view the meeting. This meeting will be recorded and available to be, to be viewed at a later date at http colon slash slash www.lakeham.tv slash. Okay. Well, our first order of business is to, uh, I gotta change my glasses. That's what my first order of business is. All right, uh, we want to, um, I gotta find them here. I think this is them. All right, these are our minutes from our October 14th meeting. And again, we tried to meet on the 28th, but mother nature had another, uh, um, had something else for us to do. All right, um, you've all had these uh, meeting, these minutes. Uh, does anyone have a question about them? Or would anyone like to make a motion? I'd make a motion to accept the minutes as written. All right, do we have, then we have, we have a motion and a second. Further discussion? All those in favor by roll call, uh, say aye. Uh, Tom? Uh, aye. Walter? Aye. Fred? Aye. And Bob says aye. All right, so we are, we have approved uh, the minutes. I think Fred has to abstain. Fred oh, was, oh, okay. Uh, Fred? Uh, I, was, I thought yeah. I was there. I guess I wasn't. Sorry. Well, let me, let me just check. Um, no, according to these, you were not. All right. <laughs> okay, so we're going to... How the heck do I... Okay, now I'm going to... That. And, all right, next item. Uh, this is, as you recall, guys, the last time we... Uh, met, there were a list of some resolved and some unresolved issues. And uh, it was left uh, to me, you guys asked me to call Mike Galler and try to resolve them. I called. It didn't take us all that long. It wasn't uh, that difficult. But just to go over them, number one, uh, he agreed to have a table of contents, which, by the way, I put together. It needs some work to make it fit. But he agreed to that. Now, number two, he understands that the notes on the cover page need to be eliminated in the final clean document, 
He understands, he agrees. Item number three, cable system maps. He told me that they do not appear on the internet. And he said he really doesn't have an issue with Bill's language asking for an annual copy if requested, but he'd have to check with his office first. And then I wrote in red that the email of 1024 accepting our language, Bill's language, one annual copy upon written request was okay. So that's been resolved. Item number four, section 6.5, a new heading. Uh, he suggested, uh, I think it was peg, peg something cast, cable casting, but it ended up being peg cable casting. Bill had noted the last time we met that 6.5 for some reason, um, or six, I guess it was, didn't have a title. So that will be the title. And I've inserted that into the new table of contents. All right, uh, Mike said he would check on changes for 6.5 E. Doesn't think there's any issue, but he has to check. He said he'd be calling Bill to confer. I'm not sure that he ever conferred with you, Bill, on that, did he? He conferred with me about not changing the expression uh, about um, relocating um, a hub or a demarcation point. I wanted to change it to, they would be responsible if uh, we relocated or wanted an additional site. He wanted it to just say relocation. And I said, well, that doesn't, might not help us in terms of getting you guys to bring equipment to the current new location, because that's arguably an additional location and not a relocation. And then he said he would put it in an email that that would be covered by the word relocation. Which and he said, I think he did, Bill. He did. He sent it to us. Okay. I, I have it. And I've sent that email ahead of this. I've sent that email to town hall, to the board of selectmen and told them that when the license is finalized, that uh, that email needs to stay with the license. So that's been taken. You, we should of. keep a better keep a copy of that. Oh, too. yes, of course. Yeah. Absolutely. Will you keep that, Bob? Keep track of that. Try to. Uh, right. I, I will, but I'd like right. you to keep it as well. Yeah. All right. Let me make okay. a note. To, yeah. All right. So then the email of 1024, and I'll put that up in a little while, um, accepting the heading of egg cable casting was resolved. The Can I ask one question about it? Is, okay. is it is it an academic point that's now moot because Jose is going to use internet to connect from the new location well, or that's, might un you that's unresolved bill at this point jose okay it's, un it's unresolved the language okay. sound the language sounds good leave it as is okay yeah okay so that email that same email of 1024 from mike states that the new studio language is not needed in order for that reconnection to occur with respect to the adding changing relocation to be relocation and additional. Did we have other items in there? I don't have the draft. No, I, I, I can put it up there. Let in me, that section, let's just. Hang, hang, oh, in this section here? 6.5E, okay. 6.5E was. All right, hang, hang on a second. I just wanna make um, sure we're not forgetting anything else. Right, all right, I need to stop the share. I'm a little new at this guy, so you gotta, gotta forgive right. me. Let me. Yep. Uh, I need, where the heck is the, I'm going to go look for it myself. Hold on. I yes. had, I had six items listed. I don't know where the heck they went. All right. I think the license, where is that license? Okay. Oh, Bill's license. It's in Jose's email. So 6.5. I seem to have lost that email from my folder here. Jose, do you have that email from Mike Gala?
No, it's, it's an email from Mike Gallo, Jose. So yeah, there was one other typo in there. That's what it was. He, he was supposed to change a reference to 6.9 to 6.5. He won't have a problem with that. We just want to make sure he does it. It's just a clerical item. Okay. Um, I, I can find that email. Hold on. I think I hope I probably I, I'm I sure. had six items that were in my share folder. And now one of them, the email seems to be gone. All right. It's a. All right. It's a, a October 24th email from Gala. I found yes. I, I printed it out. I have it. I, I did save it. I put it in a side letter file. Uh, okay. It's an October, Jose, tw October 24th. Right. I, I mentioned that two or three times already, um, Bill. Right. Yeah, so yeah. Jose, I seem to have lost all of my, no, I haven't. Okay. In any event, guys, I guess you're going to have to uh, accept um, that we do. I sent you the email, but I can't call it the screen right now. I, I can forward it to you right now. If I, hold on. Let me find it. Gala. The, the October 24th. Hold on. The, 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 the. Did he send it to me or to you? Hold on. Sent it to me. Oh, yeah. He didn't send it to me. You sent it to me on the 24th. Right. I just forwarded it. He all right. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so then you sent it to me at 518. Hold on. Well, do we need to see it? I mean, we just discussed you, Just it. so you'll have it. All right. No, we have it. I mean, yeah. I don't understand. We well, don't need to see it on the screen right now. <clears throat> I, I want to point. I want to point out to you that there are several items that he agreed to in the uh, in the email. Um, okay. All right. I just sent it to oh, Jose just, and to Bob. All right. Very good. Jose, can you call that up? It's your email, and his email is below it. Right. Yeah, Bob, you probably had it in your sent folder when you look for uh, my, build my problem, yeah. Tom, is that when I go into another screen, I have at times lost I know. my, my uh, Zoom screen and can't get yeah. back into it. I don't blame so, you. Yeah. And I that had happened. it in my sh uh, folder to share. Okay, here we go. Uh, 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 no, here we go. Um, now slide that down, Jose, please. Up, 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 too much. No, no, right there. Right here, can you, right where Jose is, he says, I'm okay with the language in section four about strand maps. Heading for 6.5 uh, should be peg cable casting in 6.5E. Can you make that uh, um, larger, Jose? Jose, you're, you're muted. Hey, I'm trying to do that right for you right now. Okay, it's, it's right here. Uh, it's item number three. I cannot make it bigger right now. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I can read it. Um, would you? Not high. There you go. In 6.5e, the additional language proposed is not needed. The relocation and potential location of 26 Crooked Lane is already covered with the current proposed language. We have provided a quote for this location. And if the town elects to connect this location in the future, we will complete the work upon payment. Also, please keep in mind that choosing to wait on any connection 
relocation will require an updated quote and 18 months lead time on construction. So I, I think we knew that already. That was the situation um, in the past. So anyone have a question about what it says in the email? Okay, Tom, you're muted, so. I, I was just shaking my head that I have no questions. Right. Okay, all right, so I, I guess we can, we can lose that, um, that screen, Jose, that shared screen. Okay, so let's see. I need to go back to, oh, wait a minute, share screen. I, I just want you to know, I argued with him to make the change in the license, which is my preference. Um, and just in the spirit of full disclosure, uh, you know, he said, no, it's covered by the word relocation. I said, it's then, but what's the downside of saying additional location? And he's complained that, oh, these are last minute changes. And I said, it's not a last minute change. It's just a clarification. Right. And then he said, they're going to go crazy at corporate. I said, no, they're not. You, Mike, it's, you know, this won't even phase them. He said, yes, it will. They don't like all these changes. We've had this clause in a hundred licenses. And I said, I still want it. It's just safer. And he said, I'll put it in an email. I'm just mentioning this because one, I the reason I have a comfort level is, in a sense, one based on trust, not based on law. And I just want you to know that so you make your own because they honor they have always honored their emails and their side letters. If they say they'll do something, I guess they can't, their word is their bond for good people. To, and to the once they say, sometimes they'll never say it. But they usually live up to it. So I'm not, I think the risk is low. But I just want to say as an attorney, if God forbid some new company buys them out and doesn't honor their emails. Or there's, or there's a new person in his position or new people in our position. This is when con I agree with you, Bill. It is absolutely best to have the language clarified in the license. The question becomes, as Walter asked last time, is this something we want to hang this thing up over? Right. That's what I felt. So I, I'm just saying the decision to go this way is OK. Towns do it all the time and the risk is low. But it, it, in a way, it's, it's sort of like a, a judgment, a business judgment call right. about the overall process not because it's like the legally best solution right right okay all right so and that's okay people like senior discounts they're always side letters every right. town has a right. side letter and we, it's we, not, we've got one of we've got one of those and we want to get to it they've so, never yeah. not honored them because but they they live by their commit so that's a risk assessment not a legal call in my right. I, just, I think understood okay Gentlemen of the committee, any questions? Okay, so we're done with item number five. Oh, excuse me, no, we're not. A 4C. He recognizes that the notes at the bottom of 6.5 need to be deleted before the final renewal is executed. He agreed with me uh, in our Zoom meeting. Uh, item number five, section 7.2A. Uh, the effective date of the renewal, believe it or not, we went back and forth and back and forth. Finally said, Bob, if you want January 23rd, that's fine. And we, we did that. Um, he also, item number 5B, he also agrees with Bill, there's no more access funding under section 7.2. And 7.2CI is to be deleted as Bill suggests. So all in number five are resolved. Item number six, section 9.2C, bonding. Mike agrees that the $50,000 figure should be changed to 100,000 as we discussed. However, let me say this was a lengthy discussion 
He started out with by, by saying that 100,000 in bonding is a very high figure. He can't think of any other licenses that have that, blah, blah, blah. I told him, I said, look, we've had this, this figure in here for, for a long time. I'll certainly in the last contract, and I believe in the license before that as well, but that's, that's just my recollection. Ultimately, at the end of a lengthy discussion, he agreed, yes, we'll put that back at 100,000. Um, number seven on my notes, section 12.1, Mike accepts the typo of the word it being removed. So that's understood. Uh, item number eight, the definition of standard installation. Uh, this was a semi-lengthy uh, conversation, uh, but Mike accepts the 200 foot distance as the standard installation distance. Contrary to the 125 that he mentioned in section 4.1B um, or vice versa. The exhibit, um, the 125 is in the exhibit. Okay, thank you. Um, we had a semi-lengthy conversation. I said, look, I'm just concerned that somebody like Jose, who has a very long driveway, would be stuck to have to pay uh, for the installation beyond 125 to the house. And that's not the intention. It's not the old language. It's nothing we agreed to, et cetera. Finally, he agreed. So the 200 uh, foot distance is the standard installation distance. Item number nine, the senior discount side letter. Mike agreed that the copy we have is the correct one. Um, the letter will be executed within 90 days after the license effective date. Now, Bill, do you wanna speak briefly to this 90 days? Cause you and I had a discussion about this. Yes, I mean, I you mentioned that he said the 90 day. Right. And I pointed out that he had already dated the letter. Right. Um for I guess what would be the effective date. Okay. That's true, he did. Uh, as a matter of fact, I can I can call that up. You know, I, I mean, I, I'm sure of it. Yeah. yeah. And so I was saying I didn't understand what he what the why you we thought that he meant 90 days uh, were need. And he, he emailed back just saying as a practical matter, you know, they're dependent on these big customer service offices that are handled separately and it takes them it could say the, the date is october or what is january i forget what it is january um that it, it, you know till it works its way to the uh, software and the implementation it's going to end up taking nine days as a practical matter to get the discount into the system. I think he was just talking pragmatic. Then he said a prior letter version of the senior discount mentioned the 90s, but I didn't see it in the current version. Hey guys, what we're talking about is this section in section 4.1. Licensee may charge residents uh, located more than 200 feet from the existing aerial trunk whatever the cost for installation from 200 to the house. In, the, in one of the exhibits, I forget which one it was, I think it's two, they mention 125, but as Bill pointed out to me in our conversation, um, that is a ceiling number in the exhibit, in the federal regulation, that's a ceiling, a floor, floor. not a ceiling. Right. The 200 feet is the ceiling, the, the maximum. So beyond 200 feet, a person would have to. Right. Um, also, also the, the reference to 125 in the exhibit, that's not Comcast language. That's just a copy of the federal regulation. 
right. that, that says for the purpose, it's a federal law, this, that we can't negotiate to change it. It's in terms of that we, we wanted to attach the federal customer service guidelines. That says 125 is, is a floor for purposes of the federal guidelines. But then those very same guidelines are where uh, it says the thing about being a floor, Bob. Right in those right. guidelines, it says that towns may exceed them. So he exceeded them. He said our standard installation is 200. That's in their license. So we're OK. They're not inconsistent. Right. But I can't believe you caught that. Most people never read that regulation. It, tr trust me. Uh, I've been over this license a lot, which doesn't mean that I'm <laughs> by any means expert on it. But that was one item going back to the 80s when we first bargained this right. that I thought was important. So it kind of stuck in my head. Right. Interesting. Anyone have a question on number eight here on the notes? All right. Number nine, senior citizen discount side letter. Uh, Mike agreed that the copy we have, I exchanged back and forth with him. Uh, is the correct one, and the, that letter will be executed within 90 days after the license. Bill already spoke about that. Um, in, in Bill's opinion, it's already established when it goes into effect because there's a date on it, January 23rd. That's open to some debate, but to be honest with you, to my knowledge, no one in Lakeville has ever qualified for this, and I'm not sure they would under these circumstances. Well, it, Although, it, it, Although, go ahead, Bill. I know what you're going to say. Yeah, it includes you, now you can qualify it if you have the Lakeville senior citizen real estate abatement. That's one of the criteria. Right. So some people would qualify for it. Right. Uh, let me see. Where the heck are we? Oh, fudge. Not many, I but lost some. My, I lost my, um, my side letter in any event. Okay. Uh, does anyone have a question about that? Okay. Uh, let's see. Now we got to go back to sharing. Uh, oh, here's my side letter. There we go. Doesn't he say senior discount? I mean, the real estate. Uh, yeah, senior dis discount. Keep going. Program. Proof Number of D, age. Letter D. Head of household. Days. Income eligibility. There's a second page to this. I can't see. 3D, the to... bottom, last one on this page. Front page, front page. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Property tax. Some people have that. Some people have fuel assistance. Some people have well, Medicaid. Oh, okay, yeah. So in, in a sense, this this is giving us more than what we had. It is definitely more. License. Yeah. It's definitely more. Okay. In terms of the criteria, the, the the discount is a little different. This discount is two bucks. Yeah, they are the old discount. The old language used to be ten percent of basic. Basic. I don't right. know of anyone who buys basic anymore, but maybe right. they do. Okay, Jose, can you take that down now? Whoops. All right. Whoops. We get that down. Share. Here we go. All right, so number nine is resolved. Any questions, gentlemen? All right, number 10, uh, ex exhibit three. This was formally the listing of the free drops, the town hall, the library, et cetera, et cetera, police station, uh, which we agreed to let go because I surveyed all of the departments and there were only two who were using it, uh, all the other departments, um, if they got basic, they bumped it up to something else. And for example, I remember the fire department, uh, whatever they got the basic, they paid, I think it was out of the fireman's fund or something to bring it up to whatever level they have. That was generally the case. Uh, the school used it in one school uh, to allow parents coming in to be able to have access to Wi-Fi, which is, this is a cable license and, you know, wouldn't really apply. Uh, and the other one I think was, um, 
uh, the highway department. Uh, they used it to, you know, get weather and so forth. But I mean, it's it's a small amount of money, and I think we had kind of agreed to let this go. So we agreed, Mike and I, for simplicity's sake, to keep Exhibit Three, but leave the page blank. So there'd be no conflict with other languages, uh, other language about exhibits that appear in, for example, it might say in section 12.3, it refers to exhibit seven. Well, if you eliminate three, now you got to change that language. So we're keeping the page exhibit three there, but leaving it blank. Any questions? Okay. <clears throat> Um, so, uh, my last item, see his email of 1024-21, confirmation about three and four up above here, which we've already gone over. So, does anyone have any questions about any of these items? Okay. No questions? Nope. Not for me. Uh, okay. Well, gentlemen, then then the next place I think we are taking the entire license as a whole, and I hesitate to say this. Are there any questions about anything that needs to be brought up? Can't think of anything myself. I can't. We've covered most of this stuff in previous meetings, too. Many times. Right. Ad nauseum. <laughs> Jose, are you all set? All set, thank you. Okay. Uh, well, then I would entertain a motion that we accept the proposal as received and as will be amended with all of this stuff here, uh, that we accept it as a tentative agreement. Is there such a motion? Question. Yes, Bill. I mean, in terms, just in terms of the language, it's common to have committee not just accept, but to recommend it. Oh, we're the... getting to that point. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're, we're accepting this as a tentative agreement among ourselves and Mike, and then we will recommend. Okay. But I'm glad you spoke up, Bill, because the question in my mind is, you know, should we, and I've asked him in a recent email, I've asked him for a clean copy that we can send to the selectmen. Absolutely. I, I am questioning whether we should have him do it, which means then we've got to check it. Or oh, no, let him do it. Let him do it. Yeah. Okay. We can check it, but it's we want a clean copy from them. Right. That okay. way, we have a trail, a paper trail, or now an electronic trail. Right. That the document we're using came from them. Otherwise, whatever we always do that you're supposed to do that. Otherwise, they can say, "Oh, the you know the task, the town gets, had well, signed I, the copy." I thought we were supposed to do it, but I wanted yeah. to confirm that. I'm glad yeah. you spoke up. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, yes, Tom. Can I make an amendment to that motion that we, you know, recommend that the selectmen uh, accept this proposal, subject to the printed copy reflecting all the things that are agreed here. Oh, oh, yeah, uh, Tom. In my mind, that's a given. Yeah. Just well, but yeah. I, we, gotta, we can't recommend them that they accept something we haven't got a, a hard copy of, or we can recommend no, no. that if it does reflect everything that we've agreed to, then they can accept it. Right. Tom, yeah. I, this is this is what I had in mind, uh, and I throw it out there for for your evaluation. Uh, I'm going to write back to him and say, and I'm going to send this set of notes and I'm going to send uh, uh, Bill's last uh, edits, edited uh, license to him and say, this is what our committee has a tentative agreement to accept. What we need now from you to go forward is a clean copy, no tracks notes, 
no highlights, uh, no, you know, no nothing. Yeah. That includes all of the language listed in these notes. And I'll probably send him back his his email uh, mm -hmm. as well. But one uh, but one thing, if you send him that draft, he'll still see that language that we're not looking for anymore about the 6.5e additional location. Right. He'll be confused it, by it, that. It, it, it's uh, well. Maybe we I, should delete. Can you just delete the 6.5e edits? I I can. Uh, hang on a second. Let me jot that down. Well, I thought we weren't going to supply anything to Mike and just ask him to incorporate. He can do it. He has enough. Yeah. If you send him this memo, he right. can do it off his version. Right. I think. Or you know what? He already has this version. Bob. Yes, he does. Right. So with this memo, he'll know which ones to do and which ones not to do. That's what I was thinking. Right. You don't have to resend him anything. Exactly. Well, okay. It just confuses him when you keep sending him more copies. Right. <laughs> right. Well, I know. I know it confuses you, Tom. So <laughs> confuses. I I gave you it confuses Kayla. There in the email. Okay. All right. Um, okay. All right. So we have a motion and a second. No, hold. Stop. Stop. Go ahead. I need the motion re said again because i'm very confused over different things that were inter inter interjected into it right so okay let, let's do it from the top what is the motion all right who, who's I, uh, go ahead tom i say who's mo are you making the motion uh well i wasn't what i said okay. before was what mm -hmm. i think i said was that you can I sit down like his chair to make the motion hold on guys let me finish please okay. no, no i'm not not making the motion walter Okay. I'm saying what I said was I would entertain a motion All right. Right. to to say that we had a tentative agreement between our committee and Mike Gala from Comcast based on Bill's edited proposal and the list of items we just went over. And, and his email that agreed to some of this in writing. So taking those three documents together, Bill's edited license, this list of notes, and the email that he sent that we went over earlier, given those three, we have a tentative agreement. I would entertain a motion to that effect. That's what I think I said. Right. Bill's editing of the license. Yeah, and, Bill's edited proposal. And Mike Gall, Mike Gall is 1024. And, and Bob and Mike's notes. Hmm. And Mike Gala's email. Of 1024. Of 1024 21, right. I would make that motion. All right, Tom's made the motion. Do we have a second? I would second it. Okay, second. Is there any further discussion? All right, this is going to be a roll call vote. Uh, Tom? Aye. Walter? Aye. Fred? Aye. Bob? Aye. Okay, gentlemen, we have a tentative agreement. All right. Between us and Mike Gallo. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed, Jose. <laughs> this has been a long journey. Yeah. We're not done yet. Right. Um, you guys were a great team because you were always there being patient and, and supporting one another. It was good. Well, well, you've been patient too, Bill. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's not, it's not easy. No, right. no, it's not because everybody's understanding, you know, is at different levels and right. experience and, and so forth. So it makes right. it a, lot, a lot of moving parts and people. You like, guys, real. You guys were very good to, uh, and a good team. So just being patient. I do want to and, acknowledge one thing, though, Bob. You worked your tail off. Right. Um, yeah. Well, thank Absolutely you, Tom. Great. Uh, really? we, we all did. It's a, it really is a team, a, a team experience. And and speaking of working tails off, I I, I think we have to uh, note Jose's participation in this. Oh, Jose! Again, yeah. I don't want to I don't want to jinx us here. We're not at the end of this road. Right. 
But without okay. Jose's technical knowledge and cable experience with Lake Cam, uh, I would have been lost. I know that at various times. Right. So it was very, very helpful right. to have Jose participate. I was including him. Jose in my head when I was saying that. Right, right. But I think you know, he was helping him. doing the exact same kind of like work. Right. Right. No, I thank you all important. for volunteering to do this work, very hard work. Thank well, you, Jose. I, very I need long to be a task task. And, and Bill, Bill, uh, and again, uh, we all know we're not done yet, but we want to thank you for your help and your input as well. My pleasure. Uh, uh, well, we're thanking people. <laughs> Let's no. thank Wilder for doing the notes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, don't, don't. All right. Now, clean copy. Yes. Okay. All right. I, mean, I need a statement for the minutes that for about the clean copy. What are we doing about that? All right. We're my at, my uh, expectation now that we have this vote is to write to Mike Allah saying, and I told him I would do this, that we have a tentative agreement between our committee and him mm -hmm. that includes bills edited. Yeah, I got all that. Uh, my list of notes here that outlined what he and I agreed to in our conversation and his email. Right. Taking those three things together, that's what we tentatively agree on. And then go on to tell him that before we can go forward with a meeting with the selectmen, before we can send them uh, and ask for their acceptance, we need a clean copy from him that includes all of this language properly put into all of these sections. Okay, I had one question. Yes. When we say from him, yes. are you saying from Comcast? Yeah, from, from Comcast. Comcast. Yeah, I, I use them interchangeably. He represents Comcast as we represent the town until we get to the Board of Selectmen. The Board of Selectmen have empowered us to represent them, try to get the best deal for the town. So in one okay. sense, we are the town and he is Comcast, but good right. point. Right. Any other questions, gentlemen? Nope. Just right. don't send the Selectmen until it's clean. Well, right. I have, if, hang on a second. If, uh, I have been sending right. to the town administrator updated versions along yeah. the way. I don't expect he, that he right. would have taken the time to read all that stuff. Right. But I, I mean, that's better that you that did we, that because that way they, yeah. But, no. but at this point, at this point, let's wait till you have the clean because sometimes okay. they'll see, at the end, they, they see the track changes. And then they want to change this and give them a clean. Uh, let, let me handle right. that, Bill. I'll, okay. I'll handle that. Okay. Um, so I, I brought it to him, I sent it to him, and I've never heard back from him to, you know, deal with this, that, or the other. I, I wouldn't expect that. But that's where we stand at this point. Oh, now what I wanted to do, I want to get uh, to our agenda and see, okay, discuss over that. Okay, and now this item right here, item three, discuss, consider, and vote on recommending that the selectmen accept the latest Comcast renewal license proposal. Uh, should we wait till we get the clean copy? The only problem with that is getting a meeting, as we have found out in the last two weeks, has been difficult. And I'd, I'd like us, if, it's, if you think it's appropriate, I'd like us to vote on recommending that the selectmen accept the latest proposal given all of the three elements together. What is your pleasure, gentlemen? I think it's gonna be a redundant thing because you're gonna have to explain everything to them in a meeting and then do it again when the hard copy comes in. Well, the hard copy would be there before we have a meeting, Tom. Oh, okay. would, in my oh, opinion, yeah. it would have to be. 
a subject to that. Yes, I agree with yeah, you. Oh, yes, uh, absolutely. You, you, oh, can, you can vote to recommend it to them subject to receiving a clean copy uh, reflecting it. A, a correct my point, bill, clean my point copy. bill was you have to explain everything that you're telling them to accept and you're going to have to do it again. Well, no, you, you're just you voting to, to recommend it at such time as you receive the clean copy reflecting it. So you, you don't have to give them the recommendation before you have the clean copy. Or you could tell them you're... <clears throat> I just wouldn't give them this document with notes about changing addition, uh, relocation to addition. They already have it, Phil. I know, but again, it just creates a risk that they're going to open up like issues. Trust me, these 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 people they they understand what they're doing. I, okay. I, have, I have faith in that. All right, but, I've but just to, to Tom's point. <laughs> it. I would like us to, and if you don't want to, I understand. But it's going to make the process longer. Um, I would like us to, we've already discussed it, vote on recommending that the selectmen accept the latest Comcast renewal license proposal that includes proper language changes uh, as outlined in our in the notes we went over and his email where he agrees to certain things. And and subject to receiving a satisfactory, clean copy ahead of time before we set the meeting up with the well, Isn't that what we already voted for, Arn? Well, no, not really. We voted for a tentative agreement between us and Mike. Hmm. Tentative. But I amended that motion to include, uh, you know, recommending to the selectmen if the changes come back as written. That That's holds. a separate motion, separate motion. All right. I, all right, Tom, I didn't hear it. Mm. I'm sorry. I offered the addendum and maybe we didn't accept it. I, I, didn't I, I, it. I did not hear that. Mm. I, my apologies. I, I think I'd rather uh, have, since we've already decided we have a tentative agreement between us and Mike, I'd like us now, I'd like to entertain a motion that we recommend the selectmen accept this latest proposal, including all of that information in the previous vote. Sub subject to the uh, be included in clean copy, right? Just of course. Subject to having a correct, clean copy. So moved. All right, we have a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second it. All right, we have a motion and a second. Is there further discussion? Tom? No. Nope. No? Anybody? All right, a roll call vote. All those uh, in favor of that motion to... Um, uh, recommend the selectmen accept this. Uh, Tom, go vote. Aye. Walter. Aye. Fred. Aye. Bob is aye. Okay. We have that done. And I'm unaware of anything that's come to our agenda that is, uh, um, you know, that came up in the last uh, 48 hours that we have to deal with. Um, anyone have anything that they want to uh, discuss? Just, the, just one note, Bob. Um, yep. When I write the minutes up, I'm just going to include the uh, the uh, uh, Zoom meeting notes from you between you and Mike Gower. It's going to be yes. just an addendum, addendum to the minutes. I'm not going to write all this out. No, that makes that makes perfect sense, Walter. Okay. Perfect sense. Gentlemen, anybody else have anything else? Make a motion to adjourn. Yeah, we, we can do that even without a motion. But gentlemen, I want to thank you. This is only the first step. No, it's not the first step. It's the end of a many steps. Uh, once I notify Mike of what's taken place, and then we'll get back from him the proposal, 
then we're ready to go to the Board of Selectmen, and I will let you know. One procedural question. Yes, sir. <clears throat> At the time of the Selectmen anticipated approval, um, there are <clears throat> many people who believe that that should be styled even though it's on a regular selectman's agenda, it should be styled on the agenda and in the notice as being a public hearing, even though it's not like an ascertainment hearing where people actually show up and say much. You may have someone from the committee speak in favor of it, but it's not just a meeting. There's an interpretation that to approve a license, it should be including an opportunity for public comment and it's there for a hearing. So I'm just mentioning that because if that's the case, and I think it is, and Verizon's, Verizon's lawyers all do, that you do that kind of, the final approval is at a hearing, not just a regular meeting, um, then you would do the two week newspaper notice. Hang on. <clears throat> It also gives you some political cover because every couple of years, someone comes out of the woodwork in some town and says, what, they approved the license and we never yeah. knew that we could come and say anything. No one ever does except positive things because people like these licenses overall, but it gives you some political cover that you went a little further to have transparency an opportunity for public comment by calling yeah. it a hearing. It, it's a it's a good point, Bill. I, I think uh, you probably have a point. Um, I'm glad you brought it up. I certainly will discuss it with um, Ari Sky, our, our town administrator, and that will be up to him to advise. I will recommend that we do that. Right. It's no heavy lifting. It becomes like right. any other agenda item. It probably will last six minutes. Right. Five minutes. Right. Right. Okay. Sometimes they have questions, sometimes they don't, but you know, we'll see. All right, we've got a motion to uh, adjourn. Is there a second? I'll second it. Any further discussion? I will right, take a roll call vote. Tom? Aye. Walter? Aye. Fred, you're muted. Sorry, aye. Okay, and Bob says aye. Okay, any uh, any further questions? I, I guess we're adjourned. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Great job, Bob.